but it uh, doesn't look too hard. Let's uh, let's give this a go. Oh, do you like scoop it? Whoops! Oh my god, it's so loopy! Oh! <laughs> oh! G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and today I'm going to attempt to learn a little bit of calligraphy and see if I can end up with a result that looks somewhat better than this. <laughs> now, I've never actually attempted calligraphy before. I don't know if you would have guessed. No! God, please, no! 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 And worse than that, I have horrible, horrible handwriting. I actually found the shopping list on the fridge. I wrote these two things down last night. That is what my handwriting looks like. I could be a doctor in another life, but no. Instead, apparently, I'm an artist, and handwriting is one of those things that I suck at. However, I find calligraphy so intensely satisfying to watch. So today I'm gonna to try and learn calligraphy. Uh, by the way, I think I used the wrong materials with this, which is why I ended up so bad. I tried just using various ink to dip in to get the same color, because I don't actually have any blue ink. Turns out that's probably not the best thing to use. Also, I I've never used these pens before but this was just a really cheap one and obviously going backwards on the page has it sort of grab onto the paper and I think anyone who actually knows how to do calligraphy was cringing really badly through that intro so my apologies. I should be able to do a little bit better than that. I have some proper calligraphy inks uh, in various colours. You got your basic black and you got some fancy gold and silver and I got a red which could be interesting and I got the student artist set of calligraphy things. This wasn't cheap so uh, I'm hoping it's not like cheap crap. I'm hoping I should be able to do some decent work with it. So I've got some supplies, I've got some parchment paper, and I'm ready to start learning, but I'm gonna need a little bit of help, which is why this video is sponsored by Skillshare. For those of you new to the channel who aren't aware of how awesome I believe Skillshare is and how much I love to share them with you guys, Skillshare is an amazing website with over 23,000 courses in illustration, drawing, design, animation, calligraphy, and more. I can't sing Skillshare's praises enough. Loads of you love it, I love it, and I have some courses on there myself. So while you're checking out some stuff and follow along with the lessons I'm using today, you can check out my courses on how to be a YouTuber and how to present to camera. All of these courses I've mentioned and thousands more can be explored at your leisure because you can have two months of free premium Skillshare membership. So go check it out with a link in the card and in the description and a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So we're actually going to start off by sort of playing around a bit, demonstrating where I'm at without any help. I'm just going to have a bit of a play with the materials and just sort of show you where I'm at. And then later in this video, I'm going to plow through our of Skillshare courses with a big time lapse and share everything that I've learned in the process of trying to learn some calligraphy and show you my development as I go through it so that by the end of the day I will hopefully be able to successfully attempt something pretty calligraphically. I don't know if that's a word to use but I'm going to use it. And I'm also going to attempt to write you a pretty letter. All right, let's get stuck into it. And I'm gonna start off by maybe just writing my name in black ink. <laughs> All right, how does this work? Let's try my name, you ready? Oh, that's, oof, this is, uh, this is painful to watch, <laughs> isn't it? Oof, oh, oh my God. The calligraphy A's have like the top thing, don't they? Okay, this is terrible, I quit. I quit! <laughs> All right, ornamental, a bit too advanced for us. Let's go school nib, cause I'm a basic student. Boom! Is that how? goes just like that. So let's try a few lines. So this one has a bit of control. Ooh, ooh, ah, that's sort of satisfying. We have the J up here like that, down, and then this will swoop up. Oof, oh my, oh my god. Okay, we got that. We're gonna do the squiggly Z's. How do you draw without this thing stabbing the paper? I'm also getting ink everywhere. I am horrible at this. Ugh, ah, oh, I forgot the loop on the A. Let's add a little uh, embellishment. So the start of the J, that can come around, around here like that. Is that fancy? Now it just says Gaza. How do I make it look like a J again? Let's just reinforce the top of the J and this one can come down like this. All right, I'll tell you what I want to try. There's that really cool video slash gif of someone writing the Netflix logo and it's really satisfying. We've got my red ink. I'm gonna try and do a really satisfying Netflix. Ah, let's get my atrocity out of the way. Oh, I shouldn't screw it up because I need to refer to this later. So I think we'll just, I'll just keep this to look back on uh, where I was at. 
back when I sucked at calligraphy. All right, come on, Jazzy, you can do this. You're good at everything the first time you try it. This is bound to be perfect. <laughs> I think uh, I, th I think you'll agree that's pretty bloody terrible. I give it a an F. There you go, F F minus. That's the nicest letter I've drawn all day. That's depressing. Now, why spend all that time torturing you with my horrible writing? Well, I think it's it's good to just have it on the record where I'm at. I don't expect to make huge, drastic improvements and to be a calligraphy expert by the end of the day, but I do want to make some progress and I'm going to work pretty hard to really just dive in deep and take on other people's experience so that I'm not trying things that probably aren't going to be effective and I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. And I'm just going to try and jump into this and have a fun, hands-on, creative environment for the rest of the day and share with you everything I've learned and hopefully make a little bit of progress. Now, while there are hundreds of classes about calligraphy on Skillshare, I really recommend starting off with the Jackson Alves class, Calligraphy for Beginners, the Foundational Styles of Calligraphy. Not only does this guy cover the basics in such a well-presented and informative way, but he teaches how to make a very capable homemade calligraphy pen out of a friggin' Coke can and a popsicle stick. So not only can you get started, but it doesn't need to be expensive. In his course, he shares a few stroke exercises, aka calligraphy drills, which I followed in a brief manner and didn't take too seriously seriously when at the end of showing each exercise he said repeat this over a full page. I was too impatient and just wanted to get started with the cool letters but I took a moment to stop and think about it and realize that if I want to do this I need to do it properly. So I did just that following each drawing exercise he demonstrated over a full page. It was a zen enough activity. I just zoned out and listened to classical music actually which really got me in the mood for calligraphy so there's a noobs pro tip for you. The more pages and practice activities I got through, the more I understood how essential this process of repetition was. No, my pen control and line quality weren't drastically better after doing this over the course of several hours. However, in that time, I did become much more comfortable and familiar with how the ink flow on my pen worked, what mistakes I was making when trying to get consistent, clean results. I was slowly committing to muscle memory the very movements that would eventually be so critical and the very basics of proper penmanship in this calligraphy style. This really took me back to my early days of learning to drum. The first thing I wanted to do was jam out to Blink-182 and Green Day, but unfortunately in drumming lessons, I was forced to do these things called rudiments, hitting the sticks in various patterns, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, it seemed really boring, but the more I did it, the more I realized how essential it was to actually being a good drummer. So I guess this is the uh, calligraphy equivalent. The most fun and useful of these exercises is what I'll call the swirly vertical line. By this stage, I'd spent hours drawing the same old lines and shapes. My eyes were burning from tiredness a little bit and I was on my second coffee of the day. But when I got to this exercise, something sort of sparked and I felt like I was really close to some practical application. In fact, in his course, Jackson demonstrates how this same shape with minor tweaks combines into many letters such as M, N, I, L, U and more. This reminded me actually that on the penmanship porn subreddit, I'd seen the word minimum around a lot. I guess this having something to do with the satisfying symmetry of the word, but also I feel like this as a word must be a really practical way to exercise and, and practice this sort of stroke in various calligraphy fonts. So I extended my practice of this stroke into filling another page with the word minimum several times, which I felt was a really fun way to extend the practice of the same thing and exercise, but also slowly transition into writing words and letters. Then after hours of practice, I finally felt ready to move on to the alphabet and followed along with the course to learn how. I was a bit slow and shaky at first, but after one full run through, I felt an immediate boost of confidence and repeated the same process at almost twice the speed and cleanliness. I felt like I was starting to actually get the hang of this. And not only was it beginning to be really fun to do, but it was really exciting that I was getting the same satisfying feeling watching my own hand draw these letters that I get watching other adept calligraphers work much more impressive magic. I put my newfound humble skill set to the test with a classic phrase and was really Really happy with the outcome and then I thought it was about time to try some cursive in a more classical handwriting style. I was really curious as to if what I had just spent hours learning was going to be immediately applicable
available to a different style. So after a moment of adjusting to the different nib, I tried my unguided hand at a test phrase and failed miserably. So it was back to square one with a different style of writing. And as such, I looked for a different course that would guide me through as effectively as the one by Jackson Alves. By the way, that guy has several more courses on Skillshare, which I can't wait to get into in the future at some point, but I wanted to try something more applicable to general handwriting and cursive. I found a Skillshare original course by Bryn Chernoff called Pen and Ink Calligraphy, The Art of the Envelope, which was super enjoyable to watch and really informative, but was a little advanced for me. Uh, I'll still link it in the description. So if anyone wants to watch that and is better at this than me, go check it out. But I found a class much more appropriate for my newbie skill level by Tracy Roach entitled Basic Pointed Pen Calligraphy for the Layperson. That sounded right up my alley. And right up my alley it was. This fantastic class helped me understand the proper pen technique for the tricky pointed nib pens and took me through a variety of different exercises to acclimatize to its use and to commit to muscle memory the most rudimentary and essential motions and pen strokes necessary for this style. Next, I practiced the letters of the alphabet, which was challenging to do neatly since I think the nib I picked was too big and the line spacing was too small on the page, but hey, at the very least, it was a great exercise in pen control. With that under my belt, I leapt headfirst into applying these letters to another classic written phrase. And while the results were a little shaky, I was super happy with them because I'd come a long way towards understanding a totally different calligraphy style. This made me so happy, I decided to throw in some random lines and swirls because I was feeling a little bit fancy. So after a full day of practice, while an expert I most certainly am not, I have made progress in two styles of calligraphy that is far and above what I expected I would make, which is awesome. Like I feel really happy with the results of uh, just the, the day's practice that I've had so far. My hands are a little more comfortable with how to use the pens. I understand how the ink flow works. It's less awkward now and I'm not doing those weird splotchy things on the page. Let's, let's just truly appreciate how far we've come Let's, let's go back here. Remember page one? <laughs> wow, glad I kept that one. Oh, there we go, that's my fancy, fancy one. And this was the, <laughs> the very first thing I ever attempted. Oh God. So let's try to do the first thing I attempted to do, which is write Jazza. Let's use some fun inks. I've stuck to the black this whole time and I have all these fancy inks to try. Let's go back to the red that we tried the Netflix thing with and failed miserably. Oh God. This looks violent. All right, for fun, I'm gonna use the nib that I tried and failed with before with my Netflix attempt. Uh, this is, again, probably not gonna go well, but we'll just see how we go. Uh, okay, down like this. That's not too bad. There's a J. That's a J. Okay, moving on. Right, time for the A. Across and down. Next, we've got the Z. Let's go like this. Oh man, this is exhilarating. <laughs> I feel my heart racing, it's crazy. Ooh. And then my hand shaking, which is not so great. Whoa, there we go. We get there. We just got an A to go. We're gonna try and make it look as symmetrical as possible. And there we go. Oh, that turned out all right. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> look at that. I really need to bring this back to compare. Yeah. Look. Yeah. I did that. That's really cool. <laughs> okay. I'm wrapped with that. Let's do another. Let's do. An, let's do more. We can use my crown nib, which is my fancy text nib. Maybe we should uh, go with a bit of gold. What do you reckon? Oh, uh, look at that. Liquid gold. Literally. All right. You ready, Jazza? Uh, and let's go L O. Oops, I dropped on the paper. Come back off, don't do it. Oh, okay, I ruined it. B, and then that goes all the way up. Loves, see, see what I'm doing? Ready? Who does, who or what does Jazza love? I'll, t I'll tell ya, it's you. At the moment it just says Jazza loves yo. So there you go, Jazza loves you. Oh, and then I'll fix my splotch by turning it into a love heart. Look at that, no mistakes. Only happy accidents. Oh man, I, I am actually really like proud of what I'm able to do now. It's not perfect, obviously, and there's a lot I have to learn yet and a lot of practice to be done to get anywhere competent or really comfortable. But this is a lot better than where I was when I started, which is really exciting to me. So 
I want to do two things before the end of the video. The first is repeat the very, very first thing that I attempted in the pre-intro because this is just bloody embarrassing. And then second, I want to write you guys a love letter. This time I'm going to take it nice and slow, take my time to replicate it as closely as possible, and I'm going to use a better nib and proper ink. So uh, hopefully it turns out a little bit better. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, my imitation of what I tried to do in the opening. It's nowhere near as good as the original, but way better than I expected I would be able to do. Obviously, it was just sort of copied off of what someone else did, but I feel so much more comfortable with how to use this thing and how to approach calligraphy than I ever have. I feel like I really sort of understand how to move forward with this now, which is awesome. In huge part, thanks to the Skillshare courses I followed. They really were phenomenally useful. So I'm gonna link to them in the description and I really encourage you guys to go check them out. And if you're not interested in calligraphy, if there's something that you are interested in trying out or bettering yourself in, Skillshare is an amazing place to do that. I can't recommend them enough. I feel like the results speak for themselves. This is one day of Skillshare courses and practice. And that is my before and after. I feel like that's a pretty good testament to how helpful Skillshare is. So go check it out. Once again, the link is in the card and in the description. There's so much there to be explored and you can get two months of free premium Skillshare with the link in the card and in the description go claim it now and a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Which, ladies and gentlemen, brings me to the very last thing I want to do in this video and that is write you a love letter. To my dearest viewer, it is with a full heart that I thank thee with the greatest sincerity for thy presence. I respectfully request that thou dost smash that like button, and if a bell shall thee ring, let it be the bell of notification, if thou wouldst also subscribe. Yours truly, and until next time, Jazza. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.